Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 quick tip tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning about the Poly Build tool in Blender. The Poly Build tool is useful if you want to make meshes on the fly, and it is also useful for retopology. Tab into Edit Mode, and into Front Orthographic View. Delete the default cube. Select the Poly Build tool and click anywhere on the grid to make four vertices. Then select all of your vertices and fill in the face. As you touch the edges, you'll notice that you see a pinkish purple color which indicates where you can make more faces. If you click in the middle of an edge and drag out, you will get a new triangular face. If you then hold down your control key and click in the middle of the edge and drag out, you can change your triangle into a quad. The poly build tool is very useful for topology. Delete the mesh that you just made, tab into object mode, add a monkey head, who is called Suzanne, Then, if you hold down your control key and hit the number 2, this will add a subsurface modifier. Then click on W to open up the object context menu and click on shade smooth. Add a plane, then in the modifier tab, add a shrink wrap to the plane. Make sure your target is Suzanne. Change your offset to 0 0.01. And then for the surface, make sure that you have above surface. Tab into edit mode and delete your plane. Turn on snapping. Make sure that your snapping is set to face. And make sure that you have project onto self turned on. With the poly build tool selected, make four vertices on the top of Suzanne's head. And then fill in the face. And select the new face. and adjust it as needed so you can actually see it above Suzanne's head. So it'll be easier to select. Once you have it selected, add a new modifier and we're just going to add the mirror modifier. Make sure you have X, Y, and Z axes all selected and make sure you have clipping turned on. And you notice that we have another face on the other side and this will make life a lot easier. Go back to your polygon tool. And select an edge and pull out, hold down control, then select an edge, make sure it's purple before you start moving it, make another edge.
Now I'm not going to bore you by doing the entire head of Suzanne. This was just a quick tip. I would encourage you to just experiment. Just start out just making random meshes just to become familiar with the tool. And then choose something like Suzanne or if you have a model that you already want to use. Try to, use, to do some retopology on it. This tool may be replaced when Blender 2.8 is finally completed, at least out of beta. But for now, this is a good choice if you want to do any quick and dirty retopology work. Once you're done, you just need to tab into object mode and then go ahead and apply all of your modifiers. This is just a quick and easy way to learn about retopology. More detailed tutorials will be coming out soon. Have a good day. I hope you found this useful. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations or any creations you make in Blender. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.